intuition and guys on this beautiful Wednesday um, day or night or whenever you're watching it even if it's not on a Wednesday we know that time does not exist it is an illusion it is never too late it is never too early the only thing that matters is right now right in this very moment okay so to the beautiful soul who is watching this video um, you did not just click on this because Tori has uploaded this video has sought you out. And I say that because the universe desires to bless you, desires to open so many doors, so many like just throw so many beautiful opportunities at you it really wants to take you to a higher level a higher a higher vibration a higher place a higher bliss okay and this can show up in love this can show up in your career this can show up in your spiritual journey everyday life or all of the above but nonetheless the universe desires to bless you um so with that being said, love muffin, one of the things that 2020 <laughs> um, has been the year of really um, shedding and taking off any mass or any blanket or any hiding spot <laughs> that um, in some form or some way in our life that we've been desiring I know for me, let me just say that, um, we've been desiring to hide, you know, um, it can come in the form of you just really being your authentic self. It can come in the form of you just really, you know, um, trusting yourself, betting on you, knowing that you're worthy, knowing that you deserve great things to happen in your life, um, moving away from limiting beliefs, moving away from anything that is not serving you. I sent a text message around to some phenomenal women that I love to call my friends. <laughs> and I asked them, you know, what is the one lesson that they feel, you know, hold on, I'm going to actually want to look into just see what I said. So, so, so sorry, guys, let me see. So I asked the question, um, what is a valuable lesson that 2020 has taught you? And um, the first beautiful soul <laughs> that I texted to, she was like, if you don't get quiet, you won't get clear. And this is what I feel like 2020 has given to all of us the gift of clarity. That clarity may have came in a form or a way that we didn't expect it to come, but you really got clear about where it is you desire your life to cope, to go, what it is you want love to look and feel like and taste like, you know, what's important to you and what's not important to you. You know, you had to really um, go within and reflect. And even on this Wednesday or whenever you're, you know, viewing this and this current energy and this eclipse season, you know, it's really a time to reflect, really a time to go within um, and get clear about what it is that you desire because the universe wants to bless you, you know, and if you don't get quiet, you won't get clear. Tia, girl, that was, that was, that was the gag right there for me, <laughs> you know, I feel like this is a time for clarity. This is what your soul wants you to know on this beautiful day in this very moment that get clear because the universe desires to bless you. And the reason why 
Even getting clear is taking off certain masks, certain things that you have hot, you know, you have hid behind kind of like the analogy that I gave of, you know, 2020, you know, exposed, <laughs> you know, all of your hiding spots, you know, it's like, oh my God, you see everything, you know? And, um, you know how you, I want to give another analogy. You know how you're cleaning your room. Your parents tell you to clean your room and like you didn't have cleaned it. And then mom comes in and like really checks and sees that you put just all of the stuff in the drawer. You put shoes, you know, tucked everything under the bed. It just looked really clean. Well, 2020 was a year that, uh, uh, mom was going through that room with the, uh, honey <laughs> with a tooth and pick comb, whatever you call it was lifting up the beds, you know, like we did a lot of cleaning. Whoever, whoever's watching this video, you have done a lot of cleaning in your life. You have, uh, you know, I'm talking baseboard cleaning. Like you really got clear. You really, 2020 was a year of clarity for you. Okay. So with this clarity, it helped you get clear about where it is that you desire to go, what's next for you. And the reason why that is important is because until you decide what that is, until you get clear um, what it is you desire, what it is you want, it can't come to you, okay? Um, when we're not being in our, thought, off the, our, um, our authentic truths or walking our authentic paths, it's not that the blessing isn't yours, but it can't get to you. So I feel like you've been spending time to get clear, reflecting, okay? So another quote that I asked, a beautiful soul um, of mine, I asked her the same question of, you know, what is a valuable lesson that 2020 um, taught you? And she was like, the beautiful lesson that 2020 taught her was that when emotions are high, intelligence is low. And I was like, mm, that's good too, because <laughs> you're talking to an emotional person, honey, who puts all of her emotions in every single thing. And my guides and my spiritual team was like, you know, um, the thing about it is I, I feel like it's such a, it's such a beauty and a curse to feel so deeply because like she said, when emotions are high, okay, um, um, what's the word she used? <laughs> it wasn't logic, but intelligence is low because when your emotions are high, you can't really think clear. And this is why, you know, this is a time in this moment to really get balanced within your emotions, within yourself. So your intuition can be heard. So you can think very clearly because when emotions are high, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't really think. That's why it's some people, um, I hate to bring up this example, but, you know, this person gave these examples and I felt like it was a good one. So I'm going to use it. She was like, you know, um, think about it like in the moment of passion when someone, you know, was hurt or they found that their spouse was cheating and they just freaking, you know, flipped and killed them. And now they're sitting in jail for the rest of their life because emotions were high and they weren't able to, you know, really use their intellect. You know what I'm saying? So it's moments like those. If you guys heard my nephew burp, I apologize. <laughs> OMG, he's such a man. Um, <laughs> you know, when emotions are high, um, your intelligence is, is low. You really can't think. So 2020 for her, you know, from people just spazzing, spazzing out and reacting was, was very, um, you know, it really taught her the importance of being balanced within your, within your emotions. So you can still have that um, intellect, you know? So I was like, Ooh, girl, that's dope. <laughs> I love that. And the last one I'm going to share with you guys, um, you know, of course they all asked me, well, you know, Tori, you know, what about you? Um, what is a lesson that 2020 has taught you? And I was like, well, the lesson that 2020 taught me is to stop waiting on people and things outside of me to validate me. Okay. And I know people are like, what, Tori? That's what 2020 taught you, <laughs> right? You know, I know, I know a lot of people um, perceive me um, as very bold, very lively, very out there. But what if I told you that there is a whole nother woman inside of Tori that has been screaming? <laughs> I kind of talked about this with K Moon, who has been screaming, a goddess within who has been screaming to just unleash so much color onto the world. And I made a conscious decision um, today. I actually was talking to um, 
I call her my therapist. <laughs> um, you know, we were having a, a deep conversation. And um, I made a decision to remove my mask, you know, um, remove my mask. Even Tori was hiding behind a mask. <laughs> um, and when I say for me, Stop waiting on people and things outside of me to validate me. There are a lot of things. And when I tell you guys that nothing outside of you can validate um, you, like I'm not just saying that um, just to be saying that. This is something that Tori has really went through, processed, went through a time or two again. And um, 2020 for me really had me get clear, you know, and, and take a seat back and really sit with myself and see where am I going? Where am I going? You know, um, I always want to make sure that I'm adding value to your life. Um, I, <laughs> my integrity is um, one of the things that I always want to make sure that is in good standing. And um, I'm not one just to be talking, just to be talking. I feel like if it's not beneficial, if it's not helping you grow, it's not helping you evolve. If it's not helping motivate you, I just feel like it, it it's pointless to me. So um, I made a conscious decision to take that mask off in, in its entirety and really, really um, take my, like, take, like, <laughs> how do I say this? Like, you know, when your feet hit the pavement and you just run and um, my overall mission for myself is to experience sovereignty and its highest capacity in every form within my life, within myself, within my spiritual journey, and within um, a partnership with another. Um, I know with, with a shadow of a doubt, that's why I came here. And um, this time period of me really reflecting and me really getting clear about what's next for Tori, what's next for guided intuition, what's next, you know, on my purpose I realized that um, the mission is still the same, um, but I desire on a whole nother level to take as many beautiful, bold, okay, souls that desire to experience euphoria in every area of their life. And when they do that, be able to, you know, give a little to somebody else. That's the mission. That's the goal. And um, I told myself, I gave myself permission to take up space. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but um, the reason why I'm gonna cry is because I have met through this platform, through these three years, so many incredible, beautiful, artistic, talented, motivational, dope, energy, men, women, souls. And one of the things that I've seen in some of these beautiful souls, because, you know, everyone's mirrors <laughs> and I've even seen it in myself. That's how, you know, you know it so well is we question ourselves. We question our capabilities. And um, trusting your intuition, but fully trusting that intuition <laughs> sometimes can get the best of us. Um, and my heart goes out to the beautiful souls like that because you guys are so incredible. And I, I really want you to know the other person that is on the other side of this video like, baby, the sky is not the limit for you. The universe is. And I know sometimes self-doubt, procrastination, fear, all of those things try to grip us. But you deserve, you deserve it. It's your birthright to experience the life that you desire 
to experience. And the universe wants you to know right now in this very moment that it is real and that it is yours, okay? It is yours and the time is now. The time is freaking now. (laughs) Okay, so that's what I wanted to say. Um, One of these cards that um, I was going to use this deck, but then I decided not to, but this card fell out and it said the inner inner truth, the wisdom of the heart, insight, clarity, purity, intuitive knowing, consciousness, okay? Penetrating illusion. And we know this flower right here, though. I like to call this the lotus flower. And I feel like this is what spirit wants you to know. The key to your blessing is follow having the courage to follow and align with your inner truth. You are so supported right now. Most of all, <laughs> what spirit wants you to know. So we're going to get an oracle for the beautiful soul tapping into their energy spirit. The beautiful soul on the other side of this video. What do you want them to know? What does their soul want them to know right now in this very moment? And car flipped out. Let's try to get in. There we go. <laughs> what the um, theatricals right now. Bottom of the deck. I embrace it all. Oh, I love this car. You know, I have pulled this in a um in a session with a client but i love this because sometimes we try to separate the the good from the bad you know but listen all of those lessons all of those quote unquote those l's those losses all of those things came together and and made you who you are right now in this moment it made you who you are you know so what spirit wants you to know yourself wants you to know right now is i embrace the all those things that hurt you you know, even, you know, um, whether that felt relationship, you know, you losing your job, having to switch careers, whatever happened, the pain, the trauma, I'm telling you, you know, it, it, it really positioned you for this win that you're currently at right now. Okay. It really positioned you for all of the blessings that are flowing in your life right now. Okay. So let's just see what else. So let's go ahead and get a card to clarify. Okay. You want to grab one more, guys? I think we should. It came out already. Okay. (laughs) Bottom of the deck. The Ten of Cups. Abundance. Fulfillment. Always mess that word up. But I love this. This um, deck. And I love this card because it it just screams freedom. There's nothing more freeing than the ocean. And, you know, the ocean to me is so purifying. Um, It's a mystery, you know, because we haven't really fully reached the bottom of the ocean just yet. It's so much that has not been discovered. So I really feel like this is what, you know, the universe wants you to know. It's so, man, you, you think that it's so much out here for you. It is like a hundred times that, (laughs) okay? There is an endless well of fulfillment here for you and coming your way, okay? A lot of abundance with you really listening to your inner truth, following um, yourself. So what's the card we have? I speak positively, I speak positively of others, positively. Oh my God, did I say that right? Y'all know what I mean. Okay, so I really love this um, card because sometimes, you know, we can have it in our mind, you know, when when situations happen, when people hurt us, this is what I'm picking up on intuitive level, guys. I'm going to actually see what what this card entails too, but um, one of the things that I was talking to a client about today was Um, being mindful of the words that come out of our mouth, being mindful because your words are power. Your words create things. It brings it into form, whether it's positive or negative. So there's, there's, um, spirit just really wants you to, um, be mindful, be mindful of, be mindful of what you speak. And really what I'm just picking up to is being mindful of what you speak about others. Because sometimes, and it's okay, it happens to the best of us, honey. Sometimes, you know, we can see somebody doing it. We can see somebody killing it. And we can just have this, um, 
you know, we can go where we go to judging ourselves or, you know, um, we go to judging what they have and, and things like that. But you just don't know what that person had to endure, what that person had to go through, you know, to get in that position and where they are. Okay. So it says, I speak positive. Um, I speak positively of others. And another form that I'm seeing this also too is like, you know, whoever hurt you or whatever situation that made you lose that lackluster, that luster of life and the luster, the luster of your dreams and your vision, like, listen, bless them, bless them, send their on their way. That does not have to become your truth. Okay. When someone's speaking negative, negative, negatively over you, speak blessings over their life. Because hurt people hurt people, you know, misery loves company. Okay. If someone is projecting, uh, projecting on you nine times out of 10 times out of 10, we gonna put it that way. 10 times out of 10 is something within their self that they're not comfortable with, that they're not okay with. And maybe they look at you and you know, that, you know, that, 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 that sparks that up in them. I had a situation with that too, um, recently, you know, and, and, you know, I like to call myself season in this thing, <laughs> but sometimes it can get aggravating. You know, it can be like, dang, really? But it's never about you. I promise you, it's never about you. So it's only spe speak blessings over people. Even when people do you wrong and, and listen, speak blessings over them. You don't have to be in their energy. You don't have to be around them, but you're, you do don't scoop to their level. Mm, excuse me, guys. Don't scoop to their level is what, what I'm seeing with this card right here. We also have the wheel of fortune. Oh, I'm telling you the wheels in favor is turning for you. It's turning for you. And I feel like, you know, some good karma is, is, is really going to find you. I don't know what you've been through or, you know, dealing with people, you know, just, I just felt like, you know, you just couldn't, there's some area like you couldn't get a break. And I feel like your story is going to be your biggest testimony. Your life is going to be your biggest testimony. You get what I'm saying? Like some good fortune, some, some good grand opportunity is going to find you right here. Okay. Um, and we also have the 10 of wands, responsibility and challenges. I think we got that card. Ooh, oh my God, really? The 10 of wands and the 10 of cups? Look at that. You know? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really feel like, you know, fate is here to deal you a hand, swapping out whatever's been a burden you know, whatever it hasn't been grand for you, <laughs> you know, it's here to right or wrong. Come on. The universe is literally saying it's here to right a wrong. So whatever did not go well, whatever did not, you know, tickle your fan <laughs> fancy spirit is saying, listen, it was all a part of a grander, bigger scheme of things. Okay. So love muffins. I don't want to keep you too long, but that is the message that spirit placed on my heart to share with the beautiful soul who is watching this video. I absolutely love you guys and I will catch you on my channel. Blazing.